Mr. Uh, Miller from California. For Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Over 10 years ago, we tried to reform Freddie and Fannie. We worked on it for years. We tried to put a strong regulator in place. We tried to create strong underwriting standards. And as you know, it all got killed in the Senate. And I have read some of the testimony, and I, I agree we all need to protect taxpayers. And $150 billion loss is outrageous. I mean, there is just no excuse for that. But 66.5 percent of the families in this country own their homes, and many of those are two taxpayer homes also. So we, we need to look and say, what do we have to do? And when we look at the overall marketplace, I think we need to look at the marketplace and say, what is wrong with the marketplace and how do we reform everything? If you look at the default rates on subprime arms, it is 38.7 percent. 38.7 percent. Default rate on Freddie and Fannie is 3.1 percent. If you look at the default rate on subprimes, it is 26.5. The all loan seriously delinquent rate is at 8 percent, and uh, Fannie Mae is at 4.2 percent. So are, are the default rates on Freddie and Fannie high at 3.1 and 4.2? They are high, but they are better than the private sector. So how do we address that? And we need to get to the bottom of it. We can't put taxpayers at risk. I am not arguing that. But what is wrong with the overall marketplace? I know some data says we need to eliminate high cost areas. But they are the best performing loans with Freddie and Fannie. If there is data other than that, I would like to see it because I have just not seen that. So I look forward to the testimony. And, Chairman, I thank you for the time. And I thank the gentleman. And uh, finally, Mr. Uh, 